Hi everyone, I'm Amelia Newcomb. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you want more info on dressage training, sign up for my email list. So Today we're talking about how to turn without using your inside rein. And this is a super hard concept. I think all innately, you know, it's like if we want to turn left, we pull on the left rein. If we want to turn right, we pull on the right rein. Um, this comes from a lot of things. I think like riding a bicycle, driving a car, you know, you're kind of like going like this. So in our minds, we're just thinking, oh, if I pull on the inside rein, my horse will turn and it does work to some extent so let me demonstrate just to clarify everything so when you are you know riding a young horse or a green horse sometimes you do just pull on the inside rein to turn so if i'm going to turn this horse just with my inside rein here's what's going to happen you see he turns eventually but it's not very efficient because the first thing that happens when i when i pull on my inside rein is you see his shoulders go that way. So if I just pull on my right rein, my horse's shoulders go that way. He breaks in the neck, goes on the forehand, and eventually he'll turn, but there's such a disconnect. I no longer have any engagement. And it's also taken me about 20 meters before my horse actually turns. So th that is why using your inside rein just to turn is not efficient. So if you're going to use your outside rein to turn, let me show you the difference. So it's not just your outside rein. It's your outside rein, it's your outside leg, your outside upper thigh, which is going to push your horse around the turn. So here I'm going to walk a square and I'm going to turn from my outside aid. So I'm going to close my left rein and leg I'm going to give my right rein and there, you see how I turn my horse without using my inside rein. What I am using is my outside rein and my outside leg to push my horse around the turn. So again, my, my left rein and my left leg for a right hand turn. And I'm going to use my right rein and my right leg for a left hand turn. <clears throat> it's very important that you don't neck rein. So I'm not, what I'm not doing is this. I'm not turning like this. My right hand, my outside rein never comes across my horse's neck. That's an indirect rein aid. My outside hand stays on the outside of the horse's neck and my right leg pushes him that way. So that's a very important point. Now, let me show you at the trot. So at the trot again, my outside rein, my outside leg, and I can give that inside rein and keep turning my horse. If I use my inside rein to turn at the trot, here's what happens. And you can see how I've lost the engagement and I've lost the uphill. So that's a very inefficient and not pretty way to turn your horse. Again here, if I'm going to turn right, I'm closing my left rein and my left leg and I can give on the right to turn. So there is a function to your inside rein. So if I'm going to turn, I want my horse to look a little right. So my right rein indicates the flexion while my left hand turns the left shoulder around the turn. So your inside rein indicates flexion so that your horse goes where you want it to, but your outside rein and leg are what actually execute the turn. So if I'm gonna turn left, my left rein indicates the flexion. My right rein and my right upper thigh are what actually turn my horse. So make sure when you're turning from your outside aids that you don't lean in. 
a lot of one of the most common things I see people do is they lean and then they wonder why their horse won't, won't turn well he turned because he's a really good boy but when you lean to the inside your outside leg and rein go away from your horse so it's super important when you turn imagine a string pulling you up to the sky and you're not leaning so your horse is turning but you're staying up and down above your horse so that's super important i'll show you in the canner if i'm turning my horse i'm using my outside leg and outside thigh to turn him and i'm testing if i can give the inside rein so that's a good test of if you're turning from your outside aids or not is once you initiate the turn if you can soften on the inside rein and keep your horse going around the turn while giving your inside rein again at the canter i'm not leaning in if i lean in i'm not going to be able to use my outside leg aids to turn my horse so it's very important that i stay straight up and down above my horse and using those outside aids to turn him good boy good boy so i hope you found this helpful again like i said it's a big mental adjustment to go from just pulling on the inside rein but in the long run if you want to do dressage you've got to figure out how to turn your horse from the outside aids because it's more efficient. It keeps your horse better balanced and engaged and off the forehand. Um, and it doesn't break up the, um, the connection between your horse's hind legs and through their back into the bridle. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Thanks for watching. The end. Pushing you away while I want you to stay. Amazing God is eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes. I'm putting you to the test. Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Tell me that I've been playing games. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so. I am a queen, I need my king. Are you bad enough to sin? I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. I think so.